Greetings to you, beautiful energy. Thanks for tuning in to your entertaining tarot card messages. And these are for Zodiac Sign Kent, sir. Thanks for tuning in. I said that already. Hope all is well with you. Thanks for your show of support on the journey. It is abundantly appreciated. Let's get started. So we start off with the judgment card. And I'm getting an energy where you are winning no matter what some other people may think or say, the Most High has approved. That's how I'm feeling like. Yeah. Um, like the Most High is applauding you, clapping for you, praising you. But I feel like there's an energy of some people that may have some type of a disagreement. But the energy of the Most High is like, come on, just don't pay them any mind. This is your big deal. So imagine you're in a classroom and this is your teacher and you're a student and you just won something. You did something right and you made your teacher so proud. Victorious is the energy. And your teacher is so excited. You're like, you know, the teacher is like, big up yourself. Oh my God. Someone's name could be Claudia. Okay. And um, some, and so maybe the other students were somehow vexed for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, maybe this is even in your own family where some of your family members thought that you were treated with some type of privilege. But I'm telling you, between you and this, this um, mentor or authority figure, it's not true. Like the authority figure or the most high knows that you, you're dedicated and you're actually, you're literally naturally blessed too. You're just, it, you're just good. You're impressive. You are impressive. Um, so the energy is like celebrate yourself. This is just Im so impressive, <laughs> but you, you're looking, oh my gosh, the sun card, but you may be looking, you're a star child. You're blessed is what I'm saying. You're just that good. Uh, something about traditions. This is your innate spiritual gifts. Like someone is so proud of you. This could be your father. L like I hear whimsical. It's like, so imagine you have a gift or you have a natural gift. And oh my God. All right, so imagine a Harry Potter movie, right? Um, a school of magic and like Harry does a trick and does it so well that it it leaves the the mentor the the um the, the his teacher so in love and so impressed because he's doing it so well so naturally so easily so beautifully you know what i'm saying and for 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 like the mentor now or the teacher this is some this is a pri this is something that they've been wanting to revive so someone is about to like prepare you groom you to go do this on a big stage because say for example they thought that this this particular magic has has you know long been gone no one is doing this anymore no one can do this but you're just a natural genius you're a prodigy can i tell you you are a prodigy that is the, that is the energy so you're there trying to compare yourself with others and you are the prodigy you are the make-believe. You are the one to make it happen. You are the chosen one. You're the sun card. And you're making so much people so happy. Because you're so good. Look, show up with the sun card. This is like double confirmation. Show up. How you show up your light. How you represent your gifts. It's like they, someone said, just give it a try and see. Because you may not even be fully into what this gift is or what this bountiful blessing is. You may not even be fully into it. Someone is like your mentors are more excited than you. Your teachers are so excited. You're like most high is so excited. He's like, oh my gosh, I've discovered something special in you. You're about to be trained. I feel like you're about to be trained on some master level to use your whatever this gift is or this potential is that you have. All right. Okay. You're about to go with Mr. Miyagi. You could have literally just done come out of training. So training. Yes. Training for you could look like shadow work. You know what I'm saying? 
Training could look like shadow work. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. Training for you look like you spending a lot of time doing your thing. Yeah, so you're out, you're outstanding, you're shining, you're blessed. You may have just gone to through some training in your life. Um, you're getting a lot of attention, abundance surrounds you. Most High is with you. You have this strong masculine or divine. Feel so glad to have done this reading. So you have this strong divine masculine energy or a father energy around you. Someone that is just really so very proud of you for coming out and for being yourself. This person is also spiritually inclined. So they see you, they understand you, they can it, it's almost like this person has let's say you, you think you're a you're a vivid dreamer and you go travel places in your dreams and you don't really tell people because you think they're not going to believe in you. This person believes in you because they've seen you in their in your dreams too. So this person has similar gifts and abilities to you. And they're so proud of you. Like they, it's like they thought they were the only one, and you come to confirm them and re-inspire them. This is how someone is feeling about you. Yeah, someone just has a whole lot of admiration. The hierophant. This person, they want to prepare you for something great. You may be going on TV because I feel someone getting dressed up, doing their makeup, putting on the microphone. Being briefed on what to do and then appearing, showing up somewhere to speak, to present. And you're speaking from your heart and you're backed by majestic energies. Leo, strong Leo energies all out with these three cards. Because sometimes the Hierophant reminds me of Leo energy. And the Eight of Cups is Leo energy because Lion Heart is Lion Heart. When you move with your heart, you don't need other people's validation. You know you have a will and a way and a purpose and a reason. So some people are going to call you to question you, interview you. Why do you think like this? Why do you feel like this? And you're like, you know, I just, you're just legendary. So you're the handpicked. Oh my gosh, the strength card. You're the handpicked reason one. You come with a message. You're a messenger. You are a messenger. Yeah, your messenger, the sun, the hierophant, the strength card. And I was just talking about Leo. So you have strong Leo energy. And I'm telling you, success is yours. The judgment card is on the bottom of the deck. You know, I was saying like most high is present with you. And you have the hierophant. You're legendary. You're going, wow. Oh my gosh. This is bringing in so much happiness and fulfillment to you. You're going to be dressed like putting on a suit and something and going somewhere, presenting yourself. Next level. And what you're sharing with people is something from your own heart. It's like water, whatever you're sharing. So you're abundant in it. And it's so easy. So you're not, there's no nervous energies here. You feel like a boss here. Even, the, I'm telling you, you feel like you run things. Then if, well, we have the nine of ones. If you pick up on nervous energy, if you feel like people misunderstand you, people mi misthink you, I feel like you're prepared for that because you are an alchemist. So you don't let things bother you. You take it in and you observe and you transmute your work with the energy. You don't like put a label to it. You don't let other people rub off their energies onto you. It, it's not like you ignore people. You take into account how they feel. That's it. You, you're not letting other people's energy become your energy unless you want it to in some way. You're that good. And with the nine of wands energy, I'm telling you, you're protected by strong spiritual forces. Sometimes your anxiety, you're going to be doing some business. Like you're out here making moves in the streets making shifts getting a lot of attention and you're exhilarated you're excited you're attractive you're hot in this vibration this is like you feeling like you're in purpose you're in your calling dynamo dynamo dynamite invigorating like on success in how you feel energetically and the impact that you're making you're touching Whatever you're supposed to be touching. 
like touching lives, touching people's heart. You're making a move. You're inspiring people. You're showing that there can be another way. That's why I was saying you're doing something wonderful, but you may not be recognizing it. But most high, the ones with the bird's eye view, who's watching everything, recognizes you. You are healing. You're a healer and you're healing many. You're do it's like you're working with, you're doing some work that you don't even know you're doing. It's like um, a second hand job. What, did, what do you call it? A side hustle or byproduct of what you do. That's how some, like, so it's like a, it's not your first intention, but because of what you do, you heal still. And someone recognizes that in you. And someone is not shy to big you up and give you the respect, the glory, and the honor. I feel like there's so much great things coming for you. Healing. The Seven of Swords and the Healing card. You heal through great powers. You're a great healer. You're a seer. Dynamo. Death card. You, you're bringing great changes. You walk with such a powerful force. People like it is an unfathomable, your energy, your presence, captivating, stunning, yet still so intimidating. It's like a moth to a flame, your light. I want. It's like people want to get to know you. They want to be like you, feel like you, but then they're cautious at the same time. And in your heart, you're just this. You're like the sun. You're continually smiling and abundant and giving. And you know there's nothing new under the sun. So you're giving me an energy of you know everything. You've sat in the place of the sun before going back to chosen one. You, you are a living prodigy. Someone has recognized this park or something about your bloodline, your sages, gifts. Someone has seen that you have that power or magic in you, even if it is a little bit. Okay, all right. It could be the word that how you speak. You could be a prayer, a speaker, a prayer warrior, seven of cups. Someone is trying to figure out how to mold this energy within you. Uh, this could be you doing that, trying to figure yourself out. The queen of diamonds. Oh my gosh, I feel like wow, well, Genesis, genius. That's your energy. That is the, that is the the talent, the 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 bloodline energy that flows to, through you. Your history, your inheritances. You are meant to be legendary. You're going to be made known. Popularity, success. Make just a living legend. The alpha and the omega. The in between and the end. I don't know the all things. Is how I'm getting with the strength card, the sun, death card. Okay, and then this genius card is giving me like a, a queen, like the woman, like Eve from Eve from the Garden of Eden, or some someone from Egypt. All right, like a ruler, a dominant, prominent, successful, educated, high level person a goddess a god someone business minded someone thoughtful experienced that is your energy that is the energy you're leveling up into you're ascending into i hear beseech do you know that this is what i'm saying okay wow all right, so we'll see you in the next one. Take it easy out there. All is well and all is within you, beautiful soul. Share these messages with someone you love. Thank you for your support. And I know support will be returned onto you in abundance. Thanks for liking. Thanks for commenting and subscribing. All is well and all is within you. Take care. Bye.